<laughs> Happy Halloween! I love your costume. Uh, thanks, but uh, this isn't a costume. Happy Halloween! I love your costume. This isn't a costume. We are real witches. I can teach you a trick. Spiders! Ah! Spiders everywhere! Oh, please don't be any more. Please don't be any more. Ah, oh my gosh! Get me out of here! Hey guys, welcome back to this special Halloween edition of Play Candy. So, today I am going to be making a special Halloween crybaby and a matching Barbie crybaby mum. So, I'm using one of my special crybabies made from my mold. Here is my mold. And when I open it up, here is my very special crybaby. It's got a bit of a damaged hand, but they come out pretty awesome anyway. So this is what they look like when they come out the mold, and I just have to tidy them up a tiny bit. So here is today's baby. Let's just give her a clean up. I have already made three custom Halloween crybabies. If you want to check those out, they are on my channel. And Today we are going to be making a Barbie with this lovely gothic bride nylon hair and we're going to be changing her up completely. I'm also going to be trying to add some of this hair onto my crybaby. Guys, so here we are. Let's start. We dunk our Barbie's head in some boiling water just to soften off the joint and then the head comes off nice and easily. Now I'm going to remove all of this hair and I'm going to start pulling out the gluey bits from the inside. This doll was a very strangely glued on the inside. It was loads of these tiny, tiny little hard bits of glue. So it did take me a long time to get all of this out. But here she is. So I am going to base her head with a little bit of a purple paint. I'm going to use a second coat of a thicker purple paint because the other one was a bit opaque. And now I am going to start filling in the plugs all around the back of the head and I'm going to work my way all around the front of the hairline. If you're new to doing hair rerouting, it's best to do these little tiny plugs in the front with smaller pieces of hair and a smaller rooting needle so that you don't split the Barbie's plastic head. And then when you get to these bigger plugs at the back, you can use a thicker needle and you can use thicker pieces of hair if you want your doll to have a fuller head of hair. So I'm just filling in the whole head at the moment and then once I'm finished doing that I'm going to get to work on the hairline. So this Barbie has got a hairline down the middle which makes a bit of a center part a bit of a center parting. And now I am starting work on that center parting. So I'm going to add a plug of hair in down one side of the hairline and once I'm finished I'm going to turn it right around like this and I'm going to go back into the plugs with hair going in the opposite direction. And there we have it. Okay guys, now I'm going to start uh, to get the hair pieces ready for my little doll. So I'm using some PVA glue, I'm just going to spread it out on this little plastic piece of um, wrapping from a, a sticker sheet that I had. And once I have my little strip of glue ready, I'm going to just neaten up a little plug of hair here to straighten it up. And then I'm going to stick this into the PVA glue use my little brush just to pat down the bits of hair into the glue so that there are no loose little bits. And then I'll just trim it. This has to um, just be quite short because obviously I'm just putting it in my crybaby's fringe. It's going to be very, very short. So I'm going to just repeat this process all the way the, all along the length of the PVA glue just to make sure I've got enough hair. I definitely won't need that much, but just in case I have any accidents or anything, I've just got some spare pieces. Mm -hmm. 
Okay guys, there we have it. I'm gonna set this aside until the PVA glue is completely dry and I'm gonna get back to Barbie's head. So I'm going to uh, start gluing in the hair. I normally use hot glue because I'm always in a rush to move on with these and it dries so quickly. So I would like to squirt a few squirts in. Sometimes I smush it around with a cotton bud, but today I'm gonna to just give it a bit of a squeeze because this Barbie doll's head's quite soft. And I'm just gonna squish the glue around just to make sure we have got all the bits of hair nicely secured. And then I'll add a bit more glue in. And now that that is done, I'm going to replace her head back onto her body. Eek, give her a bit of a squish. There we go. And now I'm going to dunk the hair back into some boiling water. Water's very, very hot. Be careful of your fingers. I've got asbestos fingers. And this is just to flatten down the hair so that it's not so big and bouncy. And I'll just give it a little brush. And once it's dry, we'll style it into a nice hairstyle. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with her yet, but I want to keep her hair pretty long. Okay, guys, there she is. I'll set her aside to dry. Okay, gang, I'm going to start work on an outfit. So I'm going to make a little black a uh, boob tube tank top type top. So I've literally just taken a rectangle of fabric and folded in the loose edges so that there's no fraying bits. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the straps. Just fold them in like this so that there's no little fraying edges. So squeeze the tank top up and then we just glue on the straps and fold them behind and glue them on. So easy and simple for you to make with some glue. I'm using some black netting. I have folded over a strip and I'm going to place one folded over strip in the front of my Barbie doll and one at the back of the Barbie doll. I've used a little pin to pin it in place around her neck and then I'm just gonna stitch along the arms. So a, just a little tacking stitch along the top of the arm and back under the arm on both sides and that is all I am doing just straight down the edge just to cover her arms. Now that that is done, I'm gonna cut away the excess netting. Being careful not to cut the stitches you've just made. I did do a little um, bit of stitching down the side of her body as well, by the way. And there we have it, just makes a little added extra for our little gothic-y look for our witch. Guys, so I'm going to now make her um, skirt. I am using a My Froggy Stuff pattern to make the skirt. I have made one of these skirts before in another one of my Barbie customs. It was a long rainbow skirt and it was so, so pretty. This time I'm using a bit of a thinner netting so I think I'm gonna have to use a bit more netting. And I think I'm going to actually end up having to paint the Barbies maybe paint a pair of purple shorts onto her so that her skirt is not entirely see-through. But I will link my Froggy Stuff channel into the description below and you can check that out if you want to see how to make one of these of your own. Okay, so this is my purple paint that I'm using to make a little pair of shorts for her so that the skirt's not completely see-through. And I'm also going to use this lovely dark purple, slightly metallic paint to start painting her features. Now this Barbie doll was particularly fair and of course we're making a witch so I want her to have very dark features. So I'm um, actually, I actually found it easier to use a pin to get some precise um, paint onto her lips here. So I've used this dark metallic paint on her lips and I'm also going to use the same paint to colour in the irises of her blue eyes. So this is quite a transformation already. I'm sorry I couldn't show it in full. I had to keep moving her close up to my eye so that I could see what I was doing a bit better. Um, I'm now going to add in some little light reflections into her eyes. My favourite part. This is my favourite part of painting the dolls, guys. I always love putting the light reflections in the eyes. Just really brings the eyes to life. Now I'm using this very, very fine art 
pen to um, color in the eyebrows. I found this works a little bit better than trying to paint them on. You can draw some really fine sort of hair shapes so they look slightly more realistic. And I can be a lot more precise with the pen than I can with a fine brush. Okay, and once I have filled in the eyebrows, I need to also go around the eye line of her actual eyes and her eyelashes. So I'm going to use the fine pen as well because like I say, I find it a lot more precise with these very fine strokes. are her top eyelashes done I also need to work on her lower lash line and fill in those little fine lower lashes and I'll do the same for the second eye So she is looking a lot darker than she started off. Which I quite like because it makes the transformation just seem that much more dramatic. Okay guys, there's her face. I'm pretty pleased with that. I think she's looking really witchy. I'm going to also add a tiny bit of brown paint to her nostrils. I've seen this done on some other doll channels. I'm going to just soften it off with some watery um, cotton bud here. And that just makes the shadow of the nostrils seem a bit more realistic. I'm adding her skirt into place now. And there we have it, guys. I still need to do this hair. Still not quite sure what to do. I'm going to add a couple more details onto her skirt in a moment but for now I have got these really cute gothic -y boots and I think they'll suit her outfit perfectly. So here they are, some nice high heel boots with some little buckles on them. I might add some little details onto those boots as well. I might add some little bit more details to that skirt as well in a moment and I still need to do her hair but I will get back to that after I have done a little bit of work on my crybaby. So here is our little witchy crybaby. Now we need to make this match our big witch. So I'm pretty excited to do this. So I'm going to start by giving her a few layers of skin tone to her face. I'm blow drying the layers of paint in between just so that I can move on a bit more quickly. And I'm going to paint most of her body in this lovely thick gesso primer paint. I always give my babies a spray at the end with an acrylic fixative so that the paint doesn't peel off. And I'm going to add a bit of skin colour to the hands. Now I'm using my purple paint to paint her feet and I'm also going to use this purple paint for the hood around her head and her hair. This is a pretty perfect match for our big Barbie doll custom. Okay, now it's time to get to work on the eyes. So I'm giving a couple of layers of white acrylic paint. And I'm going to give her some purple irises. I'll fill in the middle pupils with black. I'm going to use some really pale purple to give some little highlights to the eyes. And I'm using my fine liner pen to go around the water lines and her eyelashes. Uh, but this time I'm going to give her some purple uh, little eyebrows and lips. And here are my little light reflections going into the eyes there we 
you go, guys. What a cute little face. I'm pretty, pretty pleased with her little face. Okay, let's see if our hair is ready. Our PVA glue has dried. I'm going to carefully peel this strip off of the plastic sheet. And I'm going to trim them up nice and neatly now. Just cut off the excess bits of glue. And then cut a couple of little straight wefts. I'm going to put them in place. I want them to go on slightly sideways to go in line with the little hair direction. So I'm going to just trim the top of the hair there so that it goes around her hat line nice and neatly. That looks perfect. And then I'm going to hot glue that into place. Be very careful, the hot glue will burn. Okay guys, so this is my first strip down. I'm going to add several more little strips to go along that little hairline and then I'm gonna trim them all into the shape of her existing hair line that's already there. Okay, time to get trimming. This is gonna look a bit messy until it's trimmed nice and short. So this is the first time I've added any hair onto a custom crybaby. I'm going to do this in future, it was good fun doing and I think it looks pretty sweet. Now I'm going to make her a little tulle skirt like I did for my big Barbie doll in exactly the same way. I'll make a little skirt to go around her and then I'll trim the, side, the length of it once she's ready to wear it. Okay guys, it's ready to try on now, so let's wrap it under her arms. And there we go, I've trimmed it down to size. It looks like it could do with being a little bit shorter. I've also made her a little netty hair bow for her hair. And that's just to cover up the sort of hairline which may look a little bit more scruffy. So I've just glued that in shape into place and I've also got this lovely little lilac hair bow which I'm gonna stick over the top of the netty hair bow and that will just accessorize her hair nicely and cover up the little gluey hairline there we go guys how cute does she look okay time to do Barbie's hair so I've left a really long strip of fringe hanging out the front and then I've taken it up in a half up hairstyle tied it up in a loom band and then I'm going to take a strip of hair and wrap it around the loom band to hide the loom band. And just secure that into place. So here they are guys, they're almost done. I'm gonna use some of my glow in the dark paint and I'm going to paint their little eyes on my crybaby just to see if they'll glow in the dark. My last glow in the dark baby worked pretty well. I'm going to use this lovely purple um, little rose to accessorize Barbie's skirt. I thought about using one of these for my baby but I decided on something else. I'm using some iridescent gems to decorate up her boots. And I actually decided to just leave her top black. I'm using this lovely purple gem to accessorize our crybaby skirt. I think it looks perfect. And we're all done. We're ready to go trick or treating, I think. Hey, happy Halloween. Hi, happy Halloween to you too. I just love your costume. Uh, thanks, but this isn't a costume. Huh? Ha 
Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! I love your costume! Um, thanks, but this isn't a costume. Um, I's a witch, and my mummy's a witch too. Hey, <laughs> you're silly. Nah, -uh. I can do real tricks, especially on Halloween. I can teach you one. Oh yes, please. Hmm. Well, that was weird. She said they were real witches. Uh, I think they were real witches. Don't be silly, Alex. There's no such thing as real witches. I'm not so sure, Mama. Trick or trick? Ah! Oh! Was that a spider? Another spider? I hate spiders! Please. No more. <gasps> oh my gosh, get me out of here! Get me out of here! Twiggle tweet! I think I'll just get my chocolates before I leave. Happy Halloween, everyone! Happy Halloween, everyone! Trick or treat! Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed watching my video. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you hit the bell, it'll notify you as soon as I release a new video. Well guys, I'm sending you loads of love for now and I'll see you all really soon. Lots of love guys. Bye bye.